Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to teach you how to remove dust spots, that's hard to say, in Lightroom. Theme tune. Do -do 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 -do. I'm a dust spot. I've gone. I'm a dust spot. I've gone. <laughs> Instead I'm going to run backwards. That was more random than a dance. I keep doing that lately. Anyway, so dust spots, they essentially happen um, by having dust on your sensor. Now, that doesn't mean that you've got a lot of dust in your camera or it's wrong. There is no camera out there that has no dust inside it or on its sensor. You can try and use the settings inside of the camera to get rid of it or use a solution or get it professionally cleaned. But you're always going to get it and you're going to see it usually when you're shooting into the sun and you're using a very wide aperture. That's because your aperture ring when it's really wide, it gets bigger, so it allows more of the light to go over the lens, and then essentially it focuses it onto your lens. And so anything which is on your, either your lens or your um, sensor is now going to show up. I hope that made sense. Anyway, you're gonna end up with dust spots if you're shooting into the sun or into a light with a high aperture. So let's jump into Lightroom, and I'll show you what I mean. So this shot here, I actually shot in the Bahamas and it was shot, if you see, at f14 directly into the sun at 23 millimeters. So essentially this shot, you're gonna get covered in any kind of dust spot or any kind of blemish which is on your lens or on your sensor. And we can see very clearly, if we were to zoom in down here, over this side, we've got some dust spots just here. Now, actually, we've got a lot of dust spots on here. Um, and let me show you how to see them. There's two ways of seeing them. Way number one is inside sharpening, you can literally use the masking filter. Hold down Option or Alt on a PC. And then if you select like this, you can actually see, if you look over here, you're gonna see all of those white spots. Now, the problem is, by seeing it here, you go, well, there they are. Well, now I need to go and somehow remove them and you can't always remember. So there's a way around it. And it's amazing. It's built into Lightroom. You go into the spot removal and down here you have visualize spots. And this is amazing. You click on that and it essentially brings up that same overlay, but now it stays on. And by lifting this all the way up here, you can see all of these spots all over my image. So essentially what I can do now is I can fix it. And all I have to do is I have feathering, I usually have that at 100 or really high at least, and opacity at 100% and make sure it's on heel. And then all I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna zoom in on this. So somewhere like this, let's go 100%, no, one to two is fine. And essentially you just click and then it's gonna create a reference point. So for some reason that first one didn't like it. So we'll try again. There we go, and now it's like it. Sometimes this heel brush, it kind of does that. And literally, we're gonna go around this image. We're not gonna take a lot of time over this. Lightroom, and Lightroom might get a little bit slow while you're doing this because it has to use quite a lot of information here. But you can see, I can literally whip around. Now, this part is important. I can see that there's all of these spots, but what I can actually, I know because if I unclick this, this is actually the sun and this is a sun flare. So I don't want to get rid of those. So always toggle that on and off to figure out which ones you actually want to get rid of. And usually anything which is, which is something that you want to get rid of is usually a circle like this with a hollow center. That's usually what a dust spot ends up looking like. So I'm actually gonna pull down my feathering on this. Again, it's not liking getting rid of that one. So we can just delete it and we can go again. There we go. Sometimes it's because you haven't covered enough of it. So I'm literally gonna, oh, I'm using a huge brush now. It's way too big. So it's not gonna do a very good job of that at all. Because it's, it's not gonna actually be able to analyze and find what I'm trying to do. There you go. So now it's gonna get rid of those. Now, I'm not gonna bore you and complete all of these um, because it's boring. But, so what I'm gonna do here is I can quickly go through down here and now when I zoom out and I can kind of see, okay, let's do these ones here, it's good. 
And now undo visualize and it's great, but I can see, okay, I've missed a few. This one here, go back into visualize. Ah, there it is. And this one here, these two here. And in fact, although it was boring, I have finished it in literally a couple of minutes and you can see how many dust spots I had all over this image. But it really hasn't taken me very long. And there we go. It's done a fantastic job at healing this. Let's look at the before and the after. You can see these little things everywhere. So remember, if you think you have dust spots or you just want to check, you just have to go to the spot healing brush and hit visualize spots and you have this slider that can help you to actually discover them. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel because I've got loads more videos. Remember, hundreds of, well not hundreds, a lot of videos on Lightroom. I'm about to start Photoshop, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Theme tune.